gonna start with my sort of everyday makeup tutorial first and I hope you like it. So I normally go in with the Genifique Serum from Lancome first and just apply And I like to work that in all over the face. Okay, so most of the time I like to let that sit, so I'll let it sink in for a bit. And then I normally go in with a moisturiser. Today I'm going to use my Vision Air Fluid. So it's nice to, uh, when you're going to put on makeup, that's my cat. She loves my hairbrush. <laughs> okay, so now I'm all sort of prepped and primed. I normally go in with the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer, the Spritz one, but I've completely run out of that, so I need to get some more. Um, so now I'm going to go in with a different primer. Today I'm going to try the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue one, because I get quite oily, so this might be good to control me throughout the day. I say the day, it's like three o'clock, so I don't really know why I'm doing my makeup, but hey, hi. There we go. I only really put it in my T-zone. That's where I get most oily, so that's where I want to stop it most. <laughs> okay, so the foundation I've been like loving at the moment is from Clinique. It's the Beyond Perfecting one. So I'm going to go with this, and I'm going to go... Um, in with it on my beauty blender. Excuse the mess of it. My cat likes to eat it. So, yeah. So I'm just going to apply a couple of dots. So I just like to blend that all in. I normally dump my beauty blender, but I forgot and I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to get up and do it. <laughs> So it is a full coverage foundation, so you do need like less is more. I feel like I've probably put way too much on right now. But never mind. Does anyone ever think that sound of the beauty blender is really like satisfying? Okay, so I'm just blending that in. I tend to like stay away from my under eyes really, just so then I can put concealer under them. There's not too much under my eyes because I hate feeling like I've got loads under my eyes. I feel like this blends out really well, even with a dry sponge. This is the Real Techniques one. With so many holes in it. I'll get a closer look for you. That is because she likes to play with it when I'm not here. I should really hide it, but I always forget. Okay, so now that the majority of that's sort of blended in, I'm just going to work it down my neck slightly. And then I like to go in with my concealer. My favourite concealer of all time is the um, Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I used to use the shade Fair, but then when I started tanning, because that was quite neutral, then when I started tanning I went for light because it was more um, of a sort of yellowy undertone. And so I just go in with that all underneath my eye. I have got lash extensions in at the moment so I normally put it on top of my eyelids as well but it can get right in there and it looks really bad when any sort of powder or um, cream product like concealer sits on top of it just to hide my sort of veins slightly because at the moment I don't, I used to go in with the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer um, but it's really hard to get in there with the lashes on so at the moment I'm not using one which is probably why my eyeshadow isn't lasting as long, but that's fine. I'd rather have lashes and not look like a dog every morning than not use a primer. So I'm just doing the same on the other side. This really brightens my under eyes. Okay. And then sometimes I like to go with concealer on my sort of chin and nose area. I never normally do it on my forehead because it gets quite cakey when I put it there. Um, I don't know why, I don't know if it's the technique I'm using or whatever, but yeah, I just prefer not to. 
I'm just going to blend that out again. I really need to get a new base cleanser. This is just, well, a Real Techniques sponge. This is actually awful. And I got the face and body one for the first time. I normally get just a normal small one. But this one's like huge. Which is good because it does your face quick. But I feel like my face and body one, whenever I soaked it under the water, that would last me like a good sort of three days. Like the moisture, that sounds disgusting. means I don't really ever clean it. Shock. But um, this one literally absorbs it straight away. So if say I was doing my makeup in the morning for like work and then I got home from work and I was going out and I wanted to do my makeup again, I'd have to redo it again. I'm not complaining, it doesn't take forever. But you know, I think I'm just gonna go back to the other one. Okay, so now that's all sort of done and I look a bit more awake. I'm going to go in with my loose powder, at the moment I'm using the Clinique one, this one here, and it's called the Blended Face Powder and Brush, and this is in 20 Invisible Blend, I'm just going in with my Morphe M500, and I'm just going to dust it under there to set my under eyes. Don't mind me trying to get this right. I've tried to film this about five times now, so. <laughs> I just like to dust it all over, really, just to give me a bit of a matte. I used to go in with cream bronzers and blushes and things like that. Only until, sort of, this month have I stopped, really. And I like to just... I don't like putting a foundation powder on, because I feel like it goes really cakey on me, and especially because I'm quite oily around here. It separates really bad. So I'm just going to... Plan this out. So now what I normally do is go in with my bronzer. I love using the Benefit Hula brush. Um, I used to work for Benefit and I got it when I worked there. And I've bought one since leaving as well, but this one's really dirty. So we'll use this one for today. Um, Bronzer-wise, I'm probably going to go in with... Where am I going to go in with that one? I normally go in with Hula, but today I think I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Coco Contour and dip into dark cocoa. The colour's worn away, so you can't really see. But I'm gonna go into that one there. You'd think I know a lot more about makeup than I do, considering my job is makeup, but hey-ho. I think I like doing it on others. My job's a lot more to do with sort of, well, we sell makeup as well, but I'm a lot more to do with skincare. So I'm all about like prepping the skin and what it look like, how the skin looks sort of glowy and dewy before you go in with things like makeup, like foundation and things like that. Um, I love doing the base though. Base and eyes are probably one of my favourite things. So, um, I'll get into a bit about why I've started this channel. I've wanted to for years now. Like, going on nearly three years, I've wanted to have my own YouTube channel. But I've always been so nervous and scared too because I just know even though it's such a big thing now um everyone just kind of laughs about it and within my friendship group it's not really a popular thing I mean it's a popular thing to watch YouTube but um everyone else doesn't really see it as a thing um so yeah I was a bit nervous to go into it but I feel like I'm not bronzed enough I'm just going to go a bit more I like to blend it right back into my hairline so you can not see that I'm being fake <laughs> um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else like I would have loved to do a Q&A but then I would have had to tell people that I'm doing a YouTube video to get the questions so yeah let me know down below like what videos you want to see next because I'm down for anything oh hello you alright? do you want to come say hello? do you want to come say hello? this is Pup you're like 14 weeks? oh yeah nice <laughs> yeah she's like 14 weeks old it was so cute okay she's probably bored of me now I'll put her back 
Whenever I do my makeup, she always sits on my desk and watches me do it or gets in the way somehow. I'm gonna go in with a bit of blush now. I'm gonna go in with the Benefit California blush. This is one of my favourites at the moment. And I'm just gonna put that on the apples of my cheek, like that. There we go. I'm doing this on my windowsill. I'm starting out on the windowsill with natural lighting. <laughs> so everything's this side of me. My makeup desk is like here, and then all my drawers are there. There's the cat again, hello. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying. So I'm gonna go in with a bit of highlighter now. Um, I'm going to use my Morphe M510 brush and I'm feeling like trying out this Dior one today. This is the Dior Nude Air Luminizer in 001. I've used it quite a lot. It's nice and oh, very dirty. It's more of like a pink. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to go on with that. Yeah, that's nice. It's almost like a two-toned one. It's got like champagne and pink in it. And then I'm just gonna put that on there as well. I've just been spending a lot more time with like closer friends lately and my mum and they're the people who've been sort of telling me to get into this and do what I want to do. Obviously I have a full time job and however my last day is on the 3rd of September and I'm moving to do um, estate agents. So I've just applied it to sort of my cheekbones up here, bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, cupid's bow and then I always like to apply it above my arch. I haven't done my brows yet so excuse the maths. And yeah. Some people put it on their chin but I have loads of te like texture on my chin so I'd rather not highlight it. Wave on my brush. I'm gonna do my brows now. I normally do that now after my sort of base um browsings because I used to love that. Actually I know it's tiny, I know people hate these brushes but I actually really like the brush that comes in there. But yeah, I really like this one. So I'm just gonna go sort of I draw a line under and then I go with a line over the top. I've never done this before, so I don't know how I'm gonna edit this. There'll probably be some music playing over me now. I hope, otherwise you would have heard that. <laughs> I'm great at this already, as you can tell. I've gotta get into sort of posting a lot more on my Instagram and Snapchat and things like, look at the difference, they look so, <laughs> these ones look awful now. Um, Yeah, I've gotta get into posting a lot more sort of Snapchat and Instagram content as it's starting to get there like with the colour theme and what I'm posted. I'll leave my Instagram like here. I don't know. If I'll figure out how to do it, it'll be in one of those sections. Um so yeah. I like it to be quite soft at the front rather than really harsh. My brows never match. So we'll pop that through there. I don't mind brushing my hair with it. So recently I've tried this Lancome um, Sorcial Styler and it actually makes you look like you've had your eyebrows like micro braided because it pushes them up so well. I didn't actually think I'd be this comfortable sort of talking in front of the camera but it's going quite well. Sorry my phone cut out again but as I was saying um, some people normally do this after your eyeshadow but I'd always do it before. Go in with the Mary Luminizer highlighter just under my brow bone to highlight it. Just under there. I'm going to run out of storage again in a minute probably. And this is the Carly Bible collab with BH Cosmetics. It's a bit used and abused. But I normally go in with this shade up here. That one there. And I just go in with that on my Real Techniques brush. And I just go in with it. And I just set my... So I normally just go in with that and set my eyelid. Like so. I'm going to go in with it's the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush. This is from one of their um, eyeshadow collections, so it doesn't actually have a name. I'm just going to go in with Riff, this one up here, which Pup decided to claw. All of my makeup gets destroyed by her. And I'm just going to go in with that 
really lightly with this really fluffy brush just in my crease. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So yeah, I'm still going in with that colour Rift, like I said before, and literally just blending it out, buffing it into my crease just in circular motions. The pigment of this is like insane. Um, I'm just going to go in with a smaller, there's a fly, sorry. I'm just going to go in with a smaller blending brush to blend the eyeshadow into my crease. The cat's going to go for that in a minute. Yeah, what did I say? Here she comes. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'm filming, but it's fine. Oh my god, she is. That's gross. <sighs> I'm just going to go in with this one here. It's like a tapered one. Again, really dirty. Sorry. I'm just going to use the same shade that's on there, um, which is good as done, this one here. So I'm just going to sort of tap into it a bit and then go right in the crease. If any of you know how to tell if a cat's ill, let me know as well. Because sometimes she'll... Because she's fully like litter trained, but sometimes she'll be naughty and we're on the bed anyway, just almost to piss me off on purpose. But today she was really quiet and then she just started clawing at me and all of a sudden she just pissed all over me. This is from the Morphe Eyeshadow Brush Collection as well. And I'm just going to go in with Riff. I do quite a boring makeup like on an everyday basis. It's like natural smoking. I like to call it that. It's probably just nothing compared to other people's makeup, but. I used to do like really full glam every day and I used to put sort of glitter and lashes on all the time but then that was when I worked for a different makeup company then when I started working for Lancome they were a lot more about skincare so I started realising how important it was and then yeah I've just kind of gotten into the more natural makeup vibe still a full coverage foundation because my skin's just looking all times of all times, all types of messy at the moment. I'm just gonna go in with the sort of pointed taper brush as well and get the darker colour. Oh, poke yourself in the eye, Libby, that's fine. Right in the corner. I don't know if our cat's like you as well, because mine will eat anything. Like, you accidentally leave, I don't know, like, say you're cooking pasta and it, one of them falls out of the thing before it's even cooked, so when it's like rock solid, the cat will come up, nick it, and take it to eat it. That might be why she's ill, but sometimes I'm just, when I'm at work, and my boyfriend's at work, no one's here to watch her, and if there's like, food out, but like closed, so we know she can't get into it, well, we say she can't get into it, somehow she still gets into it, don't mind my shirt, it's not even mine, I'm just wearing it to do my face, I always get dressed after, because I always end up with makeup everywhere, I normally go in with the gold colour in the middle there, but at the moment I've just been popping my Mary Lou, in the inner corner like I've been doing on my brows. It just brightens up the eye and opens it up a bit more. Like that, makes me look like I'm actually awake. Oh, didn't want it on my nostril, that's fine. 